What if you just peace out and you're like, forget about this race? Oh, there's an invisible wall here. We've missed so many checkpoints that at this point, I'm just kind of like going for an off, just having some fun off-roading. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like a windmill. Hey, why is there like a giant, is that a giant bridge? Just there for no reason. They just put it there because it looked cool, man. You can't get on it, I've tried. But they just, you know, they just thought it looked cool. And you know, there's a house over here and a windmill. They're just trying to give you what's called atmosphere, guys. Make this game feel that much cooler to you. And it worked. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Nintendo DS game known as Track Mania. Yes, uh, we're maniacs for Track Mania. Uh, or at least I think we're supposed to be, right, guys? So this is a 3D racing game for the Nintendo DS with a comprehensive track editor and three game modes: race, platform, and puzzle. Um, that actually stood out to me instantly. You don't hear a lot of racing games that have, like, a puzzle mode. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, what is this default name here? Can we erase this? Yoppy Yop? Okay, let's go ahead and enter a proper name here. Uh, we will be called... Just J. How about J? It's nice and simple. There we go. And we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so no more Yappy Jop. We are going to be J. Man, I should have left it as Yappy Jop. Like, now that I think about it. Wait, hold on. We're, we're going to go ahead and change it. Just delete your profile. You cannot. Yes, I want to go ahead and delete it. We're new. We're going to be Yop Yop. Uh, I like it, guys. Sometimes you got to roll with the punches in life. And I think Yop Yop. Yop Yop is the kind of racer who would roll with the punches. So there we go. So this is considered a racing puzzle game franchise as a whole. There were a whole bunch of track manias, not just on the Nintendo DS. It's part of a whole franchise, um, and I like it. I like the fact that there's like a puzzle element to it. It makes it feel like there's more going on than just the, the standard typical racing. So I'm excited to try this game today. Uh, what's the shop, by the way? Skins, blocks, tracks. So we can like buy stuff. Okay, we have to like earn special points to like unlock things. Fair enough. That is a trope of modern video games. This game has multiplayer feature. We won't be able to take advantage of that today. Um, one thing we will have to check out, though, is the track editor. Because a big element of this game, not only does it have, like, puzzle tracks, but uh, it's basically... The book describes it as the Lego of racing games, where you can, like, literally just build a track right off the go and, and play. And I, I really like that idea. So, uh, oh, platform, puzzle, or not unlock. So maybe let's go ahead... And, oh, they're forcing us to try practice. Okay, let's go ahead and practice. And maybe once we practice, then they will allow us to race. Whoops. So we're going to start with the very first one, track A1. Not very creative names, but uh, we'll take it. Uh, we'll compete for all. Sure, why not? Uh, now, the buttons. Okay. Oh, I'm driving in reverse off the get-go. Okay, I, that failed. If I was in Ready Player One, I just would have unlocked the secret. Uh, which just goes to show you that if Ready Player One were a real thing, like, how long would it take before somebody actually figured out the secret to that racetrack? It would never go on ten years. Oh my god, and we're racing against, like, weird computer ghosts. That's gonna go, oh my god, and there's a jump instantly. Alright, instantly, I love this game. Instantly it reminds me of, uh, one of my old favorite DOS games called Stunts. Not Stunt Racer, Stunt Tracks, just called Stunts, which is basically a racing game like this where you had to go go around and just, you know, race through like crazy jumps and, and loops and all sorts of stuff. Also Whiplash. Um, it's funny my two favorite racing games are basically like the Hot Wheels of racing games. Um, so I got bronze, that's good enough. Uh, I like I like racing games where it's not just your standard affair. So I've always liked Mario Kart because, you know, like Mario Karts are, you know, they mix it up with items quite a bit and like a lot of like flair with the racers and the tracks. But they're, I think I prefer more these like stunt style tracks. Oh my god, I can't even quite tell what's road and what is wall. But uh, I think we're doing okay here. All right, the game is actually surprisingly easy to control. You have a lot of grip on the court. Um, and my instinct there was to ram the green car. Actually, <laughs> in my head, I was, I was trying to ram the green car. Um, oh wait, hold on. Uh, I didn't want to do this one again because we already did it. I'm gonna switch to the next one. Change track. Are you sure? Yes. I already earned my earned my licks there. Oh look, Stadium A2. We earned gold, baby. 
Gold, look at our time, 2274. That's .05, wait, 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 .005 of a second faster than I needed to be. Man, I, I, I cut it close, cut it close. All right, I, so far I'm really liking this game. The tracks have been super simple and short, but this is just the, the practice mode, of course. I imagine, oh, look at this, we can, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> this is what you want in a video game. You want to start playing a game and be like, oh, my God, this is fun. Like, okay, I, I don't know if I'm going to actually place gold or silver or whatever in this race, but I don't care. Like, I'm enjoying myself. Mark of a good game. Mark of a good game. Right off the bat. Sometimes you play these, like, tutorial levels and stuff in games, and it's just like, ugh, get to the action. Like, come on, you know? Like, you just, you just want to get going. We're playing the practice tracks right now, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, so, yes, good game so far. Also, I can I just say, too, that I even like the, like, pixelated polygons, you know, the kind of pixelated look of, of the game here. Um, it's funny because, like, to a lot of people, this would look like bad or perhaps people would say shitty graphics. But, like, here's the thing. Okay, if it's a race between uh, really, really early polygonal games or this kind of, like, uh, fuzzy or spritey polygonal graphics, I will take this every single day. Because this looks... This just looks better to me. If that kind of makes sense. Oh, what the heck? We got a gold with a green thing there. Okay. Um, now. Oh, what? Have we not unlocked? Oh, we have to try all of these? Okay, whatever. That's, that's fine. We'll do these. Um, oh, we get to race different cars, too. Cool. Um, yeah, like this kind of, this kind of polygonal, <laughs> whoops. Okay, hold on. We're going to restart that one. This kind of polygonal graphics, like, kind of looks like sort of quaint and like almost intentionally retro. So I kind of like, like this style of like bad graphics. Um, if you go back and look at some of the earliest 3D games that were ever produced, where it was really hard for the games to have, like, good polygon counts and stuff, um, those games are kind of hard to look at these days. I mean, it's like old computer CGI in, like, movies and stuff. Like, go back and look at CGI from the 90s in movies. It's so bad. It, it, it doesn't hold up at all. It doesn't hold up well at all. Uh, but meanwhile, meanwhile, sort of, stylized CGI almost probably would hold up better and I kind of view this as like like it's not bad polygonal graphics in the sense of like there's actually a fair amount of polygons a fair amount of detail but what's what sort of makes it look sort of quote-unquote bad is that the Nintendo DS obviously had a limit on the number of pixels they could like show on the screen so it didn't have a great resolution but that almost makes it look sort of cooler to me because it looks oh damn it <laughs> did that count yeah, we're gonna have to restart that one because it just makes it feel retro. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying here, but all I'm saying is I like it. I like what it sees. I like what's happening. The only thing I wish uh, is that these computer opponents that I'm racing against, I wish. Oh God. <laughs> okay, I'm doing worse on these tracks. I wish I could actually ram these computer opponents because going through stunts and going through like crazy tracks and stuff is one thing I like about racing games. The other thing I like is ramming my opponents into the dirt. Oh, what the heck happened there? My car, like, slowed down on the jump. Man, these cars handle so differently. This, like, Jeep or whatever that I'm in right now has, like, crazy grip on the track. Like, crazy, crazy grip. Um, the, uh, the, like, F1 racer I was in uh, did not have this crazy grip before, so... Um, okay, three, two, one, go! So I guess they want us to try all these practice laps or, or tracks or whatever. Oops, <laughs> damn it, before they give us the real game. So I don't mind these like practice tracks, but like I do kind of wish that like you had the option to skip this. Um, or like you only had to do like maybe, you know, two or three just to like get some of the basics. Cause like, I, I feel like um, as, as interesting as these, these practice things are and as playable as they are, I kind of do want to, like, just try some real races now, you know? Like, I'm excited to see what we're going to find when we actually race in this game. Um, is it going to be a series of, like, mini races like this, or will it actually be, you know, like, several laps on, like, complicated tracks and stuff like that? I hope, I hope it's several laps, and I hope it's, like, you know, the, the other, maybe once you get out of practice mode, the other racers will actually race against you. You could potentially ram them and stuff. That'd be awesome. 
There's nothing more satisfying than making your opponents eat dirt. Oh, God. Oh, geez, I almost left the track there, but then my car decided, nah, I'll stay. Eh, I'll stay. I don't think I'm going to place this time. Though. I think that screwed my time up too bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely... Definitely... Oh! <laughs> oh, that counted as an end. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's look here how we're doing. Uh, Desert A4. Okay, let's let's just uh, let, let's let's do this one over again. We got this. Three, two, one, go. We need like the little uh, Lakitu or whatever, like doing the countdown. And then you always what is it? You press gas when he goes to yellow or something like that. I don't know. Um, as I say, I like Mario Kart, but I I didn't really ever oh god own the Mario Karts growing up. There's always like friends owned it, so I would always kind of like play it at their houses. That guy's like all over the the chain link fence there. It's all over the place. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we got to the end of that track, and we totally messed it up. Okay, come on, we got this. We got to get gold this time. I have to redeem myself by by getting gold here because we keep we keep kind of screwing the pooch, and the pooch doesn't need screwing, man. Pooch needs needs uh, needs a, needs a life companion. The pooch needs companionship, man. So we gotta give this pooch some. We gotta give this pooch some 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 TLC. All right, here we go, Poochie. There you go. Okay, we totally did not. We got we got uh, we got bronze. Uh, that's some that's something for the pooch. Why why are these unlocked? Wait wait wait. What does it say? Uh, purchase this challenge at the track shop. <laughs> Forget about that. Okay, have we earned... Wait, win 10 bronze and 5 silver medals to unlock this difficulty. Okay, so how are we doing in that? We have 4 bronze and 2 silver. Then we have 4 more bronze and 1 silver. So I need to get a couple more bronzes and a couple more silvers. Is, is. Okay, so we definitely want to at least see some easy tracks. And then we want to go ahead and like play around with the track editor in this game. Oh, now we're racing in like jolly old England. Look, there's like Scottish castles. We're in like, uh, what do you call these? Like the minis, the Mini Cooper. The cars that were in like uh, that heist movie that everyone loves. Um, Italian Job, I guess is the name of it. The Italian Job. There we go. Boom! We slammed through that. We earned a bronze. All right, next race. I think I'm gonna try to earn the silvers in the uh, that first track that we tried with the F1 racers, because like with all these other ones, I feel like I'm just not as good. Oh god, it's almost like our car is the controls are too sensitive. Like I'm all over the place. Oh man, does this even count? Does this still count? Let's try and finish and see what happens. Whee! Okay. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's harder to race with these like create these zany cars here. Okay, these zany cars, these these British-made automobiles. Oh God! Yeah, look at that. We we didn't even get through like the checkpoint thingy. Two, one. Maybe do I? Oh, look, you can honk your horn. I was gonna say maybe like L1 or R1 or whatever does something. But uh, no, maybe or maybe you have to do like the brakes. You know, what? I have not been using brakes at all. Maybe I need to start using uh, the brakes. Oh, oh, oh! I thought that was done. I was gonna say we're making amazing time. 1892. Come on, give me silver. What? I got nothing. I got nothing. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the stadium. I feel like on the very first practice track, I should be able to at least get a silver. Three, two, one, go, gun it. Okay, so we need a cool backstory for our guy here in the the track DS world. So like he. He's like, uh, he's, oh my god, I'm all, <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I got used to the cars handling a little bit better in these F1 racers. Um, so my guy is like, he's like a, a shamed ex F1 racer, and now he's like racing on like kind of the, the uh, clown circuit or whatever to try and like earn respect again. And uh, he's also trying to win back uh, the woman he loves, but she like doesn't respect him because he's, he's a shell of what he used to be. Um, oh, come on. We gotta do better than this. We gotta do better than this. Um, I wish I wish they would l would let you unlock the other tracks a little easier. This is, my, this is my only complaint so far in this game. Love the game so far. Love what it's going for. Okay, that didn't work. There's gotta be a way to, like, break here. Hold on. Wait, what did... What's this? 
I just like reset the car. Oh, you can reset the track too. Oh, interesting. Okay, huh. So there's there's a single button. The Y button resets the whole track like instantly. Okay, there we go. Making good time. Okay, so I, I have not figured out how to do like a like a sliding brake, but I have just sort of let my finger off the trigger or off off the gas. Damn it, that didn't do it either. Come on, man. Pull it together, Jay. There's got to be like a break here. There's got to be a break. I can't find it. Oh my god. Oh wait, hold on. Why? There we go. At least they let you reset the track uh, very quickly. So um, I was kind of wondering like why this particular game was in the 1001 book. Not because uh, this game is not a good game. Uh, as you can tell, I already quite enjoy this game and, and think it's, it's pretty cool. But uh, basically, Trackmania, boom, we slammed it. Oh, we got gold, too. Gold should count as, like, two silvers. It should, it should unlock tracks really quickly for you. Okay, if we get a silver here, I think we're good. We might have unlocked everything. Okay, we need 20 seconds. All right, we can do this. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Trackmania is like a whole franchise. There's a whole bunch of Trackmanias out there. And you can play them on PC and Windows, which are kind of the same thing. <laughs> and I don't know. Off the top of my head, actually, I can't think of the other consoles they might be on. Um, but in the book, it does talk about... Oh, damn it. We missed it by a hair. Oh, it is okay. We got silver. That's okay. We got silver. So now we have our five silvers. And we have our bronzes. We just need one more bronze. Let's try it on this one. Um... And, and so, like, one thing that's limiting about this game, by the way, is so there's a cool a cool map editor, which we're going to see, the track editor, which lets you, like, build your own tracks and stuff like that. And then you can, like, share them with people online if you're playing anything except the Nintendo DS version. The DS version, you can swap tracks, but you can't do it online. There's no online functionality. So the track mania for the DS here is kind of like the least functional version <laughs> of this game. Oh, we got a silver. Look at that. All right, change track. Have we successfully unlocked? Yes, we have! Woohoo! And then we have to win 20 bronze. Yeah, so it's like to get the harder tracks, you just gotta keep doing better and better. That's okay, I just wish it was a little easier to unlock easy, but whatever. We did it, we did it. Let's go ahead and start racing some of these things. Um, so yeah, like, if you're gonna put a track mania in the in the book, in the thousand games you just play before you die, it would seem to me you should put one that would have the online functionality because these tracks are kind of cool. And we see, when we check out the map editor, we're gonna be able to make our own tracks. It seems like it'd be a big selling point of this game to be able to um, check out other people's tracks, right? Like, wouldn't that be, isn't that a cool thing? To be able to check out other people's tracks? Um, that would seem to, to me to be like what you want in a, in a racing game. All right, we're actually in a race. We're doing like multiple laps here. This is awesome. And I really love the controls. Oh God, as I slam into the wall. I love the controls. <laughs> um, so the best I could figure is that tra you know, Track Mania here is a great franchise. You can check it out on really any system that you want and you'll probably have a good time with it. But my suspicion as to, whoa, why they, oh, there we go. See, I knew there was a reset button because I learned it in the practice stage. Uh, my suspicion as to why they put the DS version in the book is either because one of the authors had the DS version and that's the one he liked, um, or she, maybe. They, they, all the authors in the book signed their names with initials, so I don't know who's a man and who's a woman, but uh, I mean, I guess, I don't know if it's a stereotype, but I'm just assuming it was a dude. Um, we did pretty good on that one. I liked that that was an actual race. Um, so it was either somebody's favorite or basically they were just sort of trying to give a nod to, um, to 3D racing games. Oh, this is interesting. On, uh, on handheld systems. Because, like, traditionally, handheld systems have had a hard time doing 3D, you know? Like, back when the PlayStation was a thing, I think it was, like, Game Boy Advance was, like, the Game Boy that everyone was playing. Uh, this is an awesome track, by the way. Whoa! <laughs> um... So it's like 3D just always sort of lagged behind in the handhelds, um, whereas, you know, home consoles and computers were getting into polygonal, you know, 3D games and stuff. The handhelds just kind of couldn't keep up. And like, yeah, there were a few examples of like really early, like kind of like 3D polygonal. Whoa. Oh, that was interesting. Polygonal 
uh, games on handhelds, but like they they were rarer, you know. So anyway, uh, I wonder if they included this game in the book because it is a 3D racer and it is seemingly one of the cooler ones. Oh my god, yes! We have a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, and it goes into first-person mode! Damn! Oh, and there's a jump! Oh, this is terrific! Oh man, I love this game. It reminds me so much of Wipeout. The only thing that was different in Wipeout is that uh, you could slam into your opponents. You could actually, you know crash into them, you could drive the wrong way on the tracks and like sabotage them. Um, Wipeout had this whole destroying the other car element. It's kind of like a destruction derby almost. If this game had that, I would say, <laughs> I love that we just cheated our way out of that pit. If this game had the ability to destroy your opponents, I would say this is like the perfect spiritual successor to Wipeout. And it's also like a weird combination with the stunts game that I was telling you about. So the cool thing about the stunts DOS game is it had loop-de-loops and stuff like that too, just like this game, just like Wipeout. It didn't have any computer opponents really. Actually, I think you could race against one computer opponent at a time. Um, but more or less, you know, it was kind of like this. Where you you kind of had opponents, but not really. You were kind of just racing against time. Um, <laughs> racing against time, grandfather time himself. That sounds like you're just trying to like stay alive. Um, so you're just racing against time, but it did have an awesome, awesome, uh, awesome, awesome track editor, um, which let, which gave you like hours of fun. You could just like make your own tracks and it was like amazing. So, all right. Well, we have successfully played all of these, uh, purchased this challenge at the track shop. Let's check out the track shop real quick, real quickly here. Uh, oh man, I want some puzzles. Create and save one stadium track to unlock this mode. Oh my God. Oh, we can totally do that. We can totally do that. Shop. So let's see for the tracks. 250. Oh, look, we could we actually, we could buy some tracks if we wanted. We have 613 Cs, and it's 250 or 500 Cs. Maybe we'll do that after. Let's go into the editor and give this one a shot. We're going to go ahead. I, lo I love, I'm loving Stadium. So we're going to go ahead and create a stadium during the day. I like a nice, sunny daytime stadium. And so here we are. So we can like kind of move around and let's see, how do we do this? So we, can we click on this? Click and drag maybe, oh, there we go. Oh, we can, okay, so we can move this around. So that's like the starting point. And then, okay, oh, so we can like select things, drag and drop. Oh, interesting, cool. So we could like just like throw that thing there for funsies. Um, how do we, how do we like go back? Oh, now we're like testing our track. Okay, my track is very lame. I uh, essentially, <laughs> I, I was messing around with the controls a bit. Um, it's, yeah, I completed it in the goal time. Yay, we completed it. Uh, yop Yop completed a track. Okay, all I want to do now is actually just save this. Uh, no, I don't want to race it. Uh, editor. Uh, how the heck do you save? Oh, look at this. You can just, like, draw a track. All right, here's the amazing track that I made. It's just a bunch of chaotic uh, elevated roads. I couldn't figure out how to get the track to uh, lower itself. But the fact that there is a track editor is good enough for us. Ah, here we go. Finally. Save. Go ahead and save that in the new slot because it is an amazing game. Or amazing track, and we'll we'll just call it Stadium One. Why not? It's uh, all right. We've we've successfully technically saved a track. So the map editor, by the way, there looks pretty cool. You can mess around with a bunch of stuff. Um, I just sort of was like tapping some things randomly, um, but you know you can like you can introduce blimps and and you can introduce jumps and all sorts of stuff. But uh, in the interest of me not spending forever today just figuring that out, let's just go ahead and like race some some existing tracks. So there's even practice in the puzzle mode, and we have to unlock three bronze medals. Oh, okay, I think, I think we can do that. Oh, that means we have to get one in each track. All right, so they're up in the ante a little bit here. I think we can. Uh, I think we can bring it though. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Build. Oh, use the blocks provided to complete a partial track. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have to actually build a track here. Um, so how do we do this? Uh, we want to rotate it. Yeah, there we go. And then we build like that and rotate it. 
Interesting. So, actually, we are going to see a track get made here. And we're going to use the puzzle elements. Actually, I prefer this to building my own uh, random tracks totally. Because when I'm building my, my own random tracks, I there were so many things, so many options that I didn't really know what to take advantage of. All right, and then we go ahead and we, nope, we want to resume. Then we go ahead and start it. Boom, and this is how you do it. Wow, that's so cool. It's kind of like a combination of Mario Maker meets a racing game. Okay, we didn't complete it in the desired time. But uh, let's, I don't want to modify. Uh, wait, modify puzzle. We'll go ahead and we'll do it again. Three, two, one, go. Very cool. This is actually almost doing more with the track editor than Mario Maker ever did. Because it would be like if in Mario Maker there were some levels you played where you had to go into the editor and mess around with some blocks in order to beat the level. Wow, that's so neat. That's so cool. Okay, whatever. We got a bronze. Let's try this one out. So we are going to get to see a little bit of the track editor here. All right. So this time we... Oh, we have to get all the way over there. Ooh, and we have like two boosters. Okay, so this... We'll rotate it around like that. And what is this? Oh, that's like a landing track almost. Okay, so no, we don't... We Maybe we want that like over here. And then we can have this. No, that's not going to be useful to anyone. Okay, let's just go with this thing then. Let's let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh wait, that's a boost down. That's not what I want. I want to boost up. Uh oh. Well, let's just see what happens. Well, let's just see what happens when we try this. I have a feeling that we're going to learn a lot about the uh, the track building here. Hey, jump. Okay, and oh my god, it was enough! Jeez, we did it! We didn't do it in the desired time, but we did it! Cool! Alright, let's go give the next puzzle a shot. Wow, I'm loving this. It is very neat. Okay, this time around... Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that yet. <laughs> so, here's the puzzle is right now. Oh, we could just like gun it around the, around the terrain if we wanted. I feel like there's the finish line, I guess. It's cool that it lets you just sort of like freely race. Man, this game's awesome. <laughs> this, this is what I like in video games. I, You know, video games are like artificial, like, oh, you fell in the water, you're dead. Or, oh, you drove out of the terrain, you know, game over. This is just like, you know what, you want to go off-roading? Go for it. No skin off our back. Go enjoy yourself. You won't complete the puzzle, but like sometimes, like, this is kind of fun just to like go roaming around. Um, all right. Let's go back to the editor here. So what do we have to actually do? Okay, there's a checkpoint over here, and here's the starting line. So, okay, let's begin with this. We'll rotate it, and then I guess, I guess this, these these initial puzzles are like pretty self-explanatory. So we want it like that, like this, rotate it like this, rotate it. Oh, we're gonna run out of blocks. I see what they're doing here. We we're totally gonna run out of blocks. Okay. So like all we have left is this. And then what are these? Oh, those are jumps. Okay, I got you. So let's let's grab some of these and move them over here. And we'll grab oh, we'll leave that jump there. But we definitely gotta go like grab some of these jumps or some of this road and move it. And then we'll replace it with some uh, some jumpy tracks. In fact, we can probably take one more of these, I'm thinking. I'm guessing. Move that. Hey, you move over here. There you go. And we'll grab this, move it like that. Uh, we may or may not make that jump, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, this thing has to be over here. Uh, oh, can you move the trees? I, I thought I had the tree selected there for a second. I guess not. Okay, we'll grab this. And we'll rotate it. And then we'll grab one of these. We'll put it here. And then we'll put this guy back. And we'll put this guy. Okay, hold on. You go over here. And... 
We have some extra jumps. So let's just use them as like road. There we go. <laughs> so whatever. We'll put we'll put uh, one jump there. We're just like using it as road. Actually, that that uh, I think maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Sort of like you make it like a drawbridge. Like I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like yeah. There we go. Uh, this looks this looks promising. This looks promising. My castle building skills, I think, are on par, guys. Hey, oh, oh yeah, that was the perfect. That was perfect. As long as we do this one the same. You know, I was wondering what kind of racing game could have a puzzle element to it. Like, how do you do a puzzle game in a racing game? They found a way. It's totally awesome. They found a way. Good for them, man. Good for them. Let's check out, let's check out one easy one. Why not? Let's see. So it's just, I think it's just more of the same. Yeah, now it's just going to be like making a series of checkpoints. Okay, I, I won't bore you guys watching me assemble this track. But uh, I just kind of wanted to like uh, see see what it was. Uh, yes. In fact, let's just see what this last one was too here. Um, we'll skip the one in the middle. Oh, this one's interesting. Like the track's kind of like already made. And... Oh, you kind of have to like, oh, like make... Make a track that like climbs its way up or something. Yeah, so like you make one of these and you rotate it. Then you have to like put another one, but then you have to like raise its height. There you go. So you can actually play with elevations and stuff in this uh, map editor too. Uh, we'll put it down one. So like, okay, this isn't this isn't gonna work, but like just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So you have like made an elevated track. That's kind of cool. Yeah! Oh, into the wall. <laughs> if only there was car damage on this, so you could like destroy yourself. That's what the Whiplash game had. You could damage your car and then you would have to like go into pit stops and stuff. You could ram computer cars out of the pit stops. It was great. It was great. So, um, cool. So we did get to see a little bit of the editor after all. Neat. All right, uh, let's go into the shop. Let's buy something. Uh, I guess we haven't seen too many desert tracks. Let's go ahead and just buy the most expensive desert track we can get. Desert B5. Yeah, I want it for 500 coppers or whatever they said it was. So let's go in here. Race, easy, desert, B5. And uh, we'll race around a little bit. Um, all right. Three, two, one, go. The desert one always kind of feels a little post-apocalyptic to me with all the... Uh, like all those like yellow and black, what would you call those? Like warnings? Like what would you even call that? Like a warning pattern or like a hazardous caution pattern or something? Ow, that. Actually, I find these desert ones a little hard to race because um, it's harder to see where the track's gonna go. Um, oh my God, okay, try this one again. Oh, okay, we're just learning this time around. We're just learning this time around, so we're gonna have a terrible time. It's all about figuring that track out. Oh, there was like a jump there if I went a little harder to the left. Let's try that the next time. Just trying not to die here. Uh, oh my god! Okay, didn't didn't work. Um, we're, we're definitely not going to actually beat this track. The track that we paid cash money for. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, we're so bad at this. Oh, now we're just totally off the track. Okay. Um... Well, I think I can. I think I can safely start wrapping up my thoughts of this game, uh, feeling confident that I have uh, tried out the majority of the gameplay elements. Obviously, not a majority of the game, but the gameplay elements. And I can also say wholeheartedly that this game, this game rocks it, man. Oh, you're not supposed to take that jump. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna forget this track ever existed. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that. Let's go to a race. Let's go to easy. Let's try uh, a rally race. Sure, rally B1, uh, because hopefully B1 will be easy. Um, Trackmania DS, one of the games of the book, a thousand of video games you must play before you die. I've had a lot of fun with this game today, guys. I honestly, this is like the kind of game I wish I owned as a kid. Within the first minute of playing this game, I was having a blast. Um, yes, you have to go through those, like, practice tracks. It's a little annoying that, you know, you want to race from the get-go, but it makes you kind of, like, actually put in some effort to unlock. It's not just a tutorial you can skip. But it actually was more fun than, I would say, a typical tutorial. And, um, this game has so much going for it. It has tight racing controls. 
It has admittedly a somewhat limited variety of like tracks and cars, you know. On the PC or other consoles, you actually get, I think there's up to like seven different environments. So this one only has three. So the DS version is a little limited. But that said, I mean, like, with a map editor, you can make as many tracks as you ever want. You can make crazy tracks with jumps and loops and stuff. We saw there were loop-de-loops and crazy jumps and stuff. Look at all this crazy terrain. Like, you can you can go in and make all this. It's like Excitebike, you know? Remember how in Excitebike for NES, you could make whatever track you want? You can do that here, only it's modernized, so there's, like, so much more to it. There's puzzle tracks, which, like, I've never heard of that in a game before it's like a mix of mario maker meets a racing game but it, it not even mario maker used their level editor in the way that this game is like there weren't puzzle levels in mario maker where you had to like pause the game go into the editor and edit the map you were playing like you were supposed to do that you know um i i think this is an amazing game uh, an amazing series i'm shocked i've never really heard of it before today oh god i'm so bad at it though maybe that's maybe you can tell i've never heard of it because i'm so bad um Oh, did that just count? Did that checkpoint just end up counting? Interesting, I, I'm pretty sure I missed a checkpoint. Man, look at, these environments are so cool. Like castles and towers and stuff. Very cool, very cool. Um, I give this game a hard thumbs up. That is a, a very firm thumbs up. And, uh, and I think that, you know, if you play this on the Nintendo DS, if you play it on some other console or computer, however you want to play it, the Trackmania series, I think, is just seems like a winner in my books. So, yeah, I had fun with this game from the get-go. That is a hallmark, in my opinion. We're not hitting checkpoints anymore. We've lost this, ride, this race. But that is a hallmark, in my opinion, of just a game that's done right. So, kudos to the creators of Trackmania. You've made an awesome game, and this 100% deserves to be played. So, if you've not played Trackmania, you got to play this one before you die. I, that's, that's my own recommendation there. But hey, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of Trackmania uh, DS here? Um, or just the whole Trackmania series? I'm pretty sure this is the only Trackmania game in the 1001 book, so we could use this video to talk about the whole series. But what do you think of Trackmania generally? Uh, is it a series that you like and enjoy? Wait, is that car just frozen in space? <laughs> yeah. So I guess he's finished the race, and when the car is finished, they just freeze. I have missed too many checkpoints to finish, but yeah, look, they're all just like frozen in time. It's awesome. Um... Yeah, I mean, there were, like, a few minor things that I wished I could have done, like, ram the other cars and stuff like that, but those are, I think, trivial points. I think the game gets a win no matter what. Anyway, as I say, that's my opinion. What do you guys think of Trackmania? Do you have experiences with it? Do you have comments, thoughts, ideas? Do you have opinions? Let me know in the comments down below. Always happy to hear from you guys. And whatever you think about the game, whatever you think about my opinion of it, hopefully today uh, has been entertaining for you. If it has, don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, share my video with all your friends and family, check me out on Patreon, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, any of that stuff you guys decide to do really helps me out. So uh, if you could do it, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, and until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and uh, enjoy racing the hilly hills of Scotland, the F1 tracks of any town USA, and the desert tracks of post-apocalyptic America. And uh, other than that, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, guys. Peace.